Hello people, um, welcome to another video of my latest creation, as you can see in front of you it's a Churchill, um, it's obviously in 135th scale and it's from AFV Club, it's the Mark VI um, with a 75mm quick firing gun, um, but before I get into that more, um, just some little things, housekeeping I suppose you call it. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, um, it's a new setup for me, it's a different house. The lighting in where my little modelling corner is isn't great. It's dark now anyway, so it's even worse, but um, the natural light in here isn't good. So I have to use um, artificial light. That sort of um, takes away the natural colour of it a bit. Um, but if I didn't have the artificial light on, uh, you wouldn't see much at all. Um, so that's that. Um, I was planning on doing some photos at the end, like I normally do. Um, but YouTube has decided to get rid of their slideshow creator. And also the video, video editing thing. So... Um, I have to find a way of getting around that. Uh, probably download another piece of software, but I haven't found one yet. Um, so that's that. I've got a couple more subscribers, so thank you to them. I um, also got a private message from some one of my new subscribers. It's very nice, very nice message. Um, so thank you for that. You know who you are. Um, if you watch this video, obviously. Um, so yeah, back to the model. Um, as I said, it's uh, AFE Club's one. Um, I wouldn't say it's one for the beginner. Parts of it I found quite difficult. Actually, one of I'd probably say it's one of my hardest models that I've done. Um, I don't know whether it was the mood I was in or not um, because I've recently quit smoking. Um, so I kind of rushed it a little bit, but that was mainly because I was trying to keep my hands busy. Um, so doing it as much as I could, the model as much as I could, so I wasn't thinking or had idle hands. Um, but yeah, I've gone two weeks so far, so that's always good. Um, yeah, I found a lot of it quite difficult. Um, well, parts of it, should I say. Airfeet Club on uh, kits. As many of you already know, are probably more on the harder side. They've got lots of tiny little bits, um, but uh, that wasn't the issue. It was just uh, basically you've got these. Um, I don't know what you call it, track sponsoring e bits. They're one whole unit. You've got another on the other side, and you've just got basic the basic hole that goes in between that joins them together. Um, yeah, it's just a little bit fiddly. Um, you've got to do all the individual um, suspension, which is workable. Um, uh, but you've got to clean up all the parts. Uh, they all are still came out workable. Um, unfortunately, the um, the tracks are the rubber band vinyl, which doesn't matter in this this kit so much because it just follows thing and most of it's covered up but I did struggle to get them to join together um, super glue wouldn't do it I didn't actually have a stapler on hand that would go through it um, plastic cement normal you know, modelling glue wouldn't work um, tried to melt it together but there wasn't enough of a pin going through the hole to melt on the other side so in the end I just sort of super glued it into place under the mud guards um, I did actually want to leave more of the, the um, mud guards off um, but for that reason you know, I left them on so I could hide it easier um, but yeah I, like, as you can see I left some of it off so it gives it a bit more of a unique look again back on the tracks um, the paint didn't really adhere very well um, 
but they got away with it pretty much. Um, added some ropes and stuff for the stowage. The rope is a bit thick for my liking, um, but that's all I had on hand. Hope um, you like it. Um, gone for a somewhat weathered approach, obviously with the missing tracks. Um, yeah, you know, track guards, uh, uh, a few chipping and a little bit muddy, a um, little bit of storage. I find, even if, I can actually see a lot of reference photos with them storage on, uh, with the churches that had storage on, should I say. Um, but I find it gives, gives it a bit of life. Um, but yeah, back to the, the kit, sorry. Uh, so you get a met gun, metal gun barrel. Um, so that's, that's always good, you know, filing of seam lines. Um, getting these front mud guards to fit on right was a bit of a pain in the ass too. Uh, that was another bit that was hard. Um, decal's good, other than that, detail was brilliant. Fit was brilliant, um, just a bit more of a challenge basically. Um, but yeah, hope you like it. Uh, I suppose I would just give you a bit more of a look in at the um, unplug this effect. Looking at the decals on the front there, there would be another one on this front one, which is the same. Is this back one here? Um, but obviously that's missing, so you can't see that. Um, just see if I can. I don't know how clear this will come in. It come up. If I go right in. Um, but I need to see a bit better, I suppose. Uh, there's a little, little decal above here. Push that down. See that a bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a good kit. Um, if you're willing to, if you want to do this subject, and you're willing to have a bit of a, um, I don't want to say struggle, but challenge. Um, of course, you might not have a challenge. It might go alright for you. It might just be me on this occasion that I'm in the mood that I was in, but you know. Still enjoyed it. There you go. That's pretty much all I have to say on that. Um, like I say, hope you liked it. Um, give us a thumbs up if you did. Uh, or a comment, totally up to you. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye.